and welcome to another episode of a crazy a town a gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T N T Nine. I might take supposed one Jonas. You're the man on the stage, dude. I am. We're playing that man twenty one boys, dude. It's the divisional playoff round. We're playing the F and Bengals <laughs> the Battle <laughs> of Ohio. Someone Hell is going yeah. to the AFC Championship game from Ohio. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> it's never going to be the Bengals. That happened. It's never going to be the Bengals, and it's never going to be the Browns. It was like I think eighty nine or ninety, the Bengals made the AFC Championship game. Wow, I think. has it really been that long? Yeah. yeah. The Bengals and the Browns and Detroit, all the teams from that general area, have been terrible forever. The only one that's been good at all is Pittsburgh. Buffalo's even been bad forever since since they did those like four Super Bowls in the early nineties. They've been terrible. Like that whole little corridor, except for Pittsburgh. Has been awful. Yeah, and Pittsburgh ain't like good. They're, yeah, well, I mean, they won a couple good. Super Bowls. Yeah, they're good, but they're not great. Yeah, I mean, they're way better than any of those teams. Damn, they already beat me, dude. Um, and that's but, just like since the '80s, though, right? Yeah, yeah, since the '80s. But yeah, um, it uh, it's it's pretty bad being a football fan in that area. Everybody, <laughs> you telling me? Yeah, dude. You telling me? The football season starts soon, man. Are you, are you pumped? No. <laughs> I'm really not, dude. I'm not. Like, I will watch some of it, you know what I mean? But, like, dude, I'm not. I'm just not. <laughs> I think I think just the, the, the pandemic, man, sports just ain't the same. Are you going to kneel in the living room? <laughs> yes. I'm just asking. Yeah, dude. All right. I expect to see it happen. They don't play the national anthem on TV. I hope you don't lie to the fans. They don't. T they don't. That play. doesn't mean that you can't kneel during the I game. Mean, I can kneel anytime I In want. In fact, dude. I want you to kneel for the whole first quarter. Oh, my F and G's, dude. See, they're. It's, uh, we're gonna lose. I'm already. <laughs> we're gonna lose. They're doing the dropsies, dude. Once Madden decides that the game of dropsies, I've dropped two passes already. <laughs> in, out of two passes. <laughs> uh, I know what to help you, Jonas. A hot non sequitur. <laughs> Jonas, have you? Did you have like a hustle when you were a kid to earn money, like before you could get a job? Uh, I did not, dude. I was lame. You never like mowed lawns or shoveled no, snow or grass. walked dogs. No, dude. So I used to, uh, I used to love like action figures when I was a kid. I don't yeah, know. Me if, too, dude. Did you really? Well, I like, yeah, I had like GI Joes and like little wrestler guys and stuff like that. Okay, I liked like the uh, the comic book. Uh, oh, I started figure. lineups too, the little football players and things. Really? It's very odd. Those are like the action figures I would never go for. Like GI Joes, I had some of those, but I had like the Street Fighter GI Joes more yeah, yeah. than I had like regular GI Joes. Oh, okay. And yeah. the wrestling, I remember those. Yeah. Yeah. And the wrestling like action figures I would never really go for because I was just like, oh, it's just some dude with muscles in a in, in like a in like thong underwear. But you know, you know, it kind of each their own, right? Yeah, yeah, it's illuminating to some of your lifestyle choices now. Yep, <laughs> but <laughs> dudes in thongs constantly. In but, <laughs> but I was, How do you know? I mean, all those posters on your wall. <laughs> I know, dude. They're my favorite. Mitt, like Calvin Klein ads Mitt and stuff. Mitt Romney and booty shorts. <laughs> Anthony Weiner's famous uh, pick, pick of his crotch. Um, but yeah, so. I did love action figures, mostly, like I said, the comic books, like, so, but the only way I could fund my action figure, uh, habit was to find some way to, like, make money on the side, and right. living up north, shoveling snow, 100% the best way to do it. Oh, yeah, because there's tons of, like, old folks who don't want to touch their lawns. And yeah. Stuff. So I remember I would shovel people's <laughs> driveway, and my friend would charge them, like, 20 bucks. Now, I'm not going to say we made, like, a business out of it. Definitely did it, like, a few times. I've seen where we made probably about $200, $300 out of the entire the of us, of us, like, doing this hustle. Oh, nice. You want to hear? I have a good story about how some old lady ripped us off. <laughs> how did you get ripped so, off? So, like, I was at my buddy's. I, like, a kid, one of my best friends in, like, elementary school. Yeah. Um, I used to go over his house all the time. We would just hang out. He didn't live far from me. We could walk to each other's house. I mean, it was a good, like, 10, 15-minute walk, but it wasn't, like far mm -hmm. uh, it was actually right up jefferson road off one of those other roads so uh one day his mom or somebody was like hey mrs so-and-so needs someone to rake leaves in her backyard or whatever and we were like oh yeah sure whatever she said they said oh she'll pay you no nope. and like uh she, we got we, we it was quite a bit of work 
And we went up, and I remember we knocked on the door when we were done. And we, like, said, okay, we're done, we're going to go. And she's like, okay. She's like, and, like, you know, we were young. And she's like, well, how's $5 sound? And we were like, you know, it wasn't, like, that much work. But we were like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. She came out and gave us one $5 bill for both of us. I was like, we made $2.50 to do all that work. Yo. (laughs) You already agreed to it. (laughs) Yeah, dude. We both were like. We were like, we thought $5 was kind of shasty to begin with, let alone $5 yeah. the two of us, dude. That's the okey doke right there. That is the okey doke. Yep. So you know what, I man? I learned my lesson. Never did it again. Right. And, okay, so, like, that that's an idea, too. It's like I've definitely had people, like, just ask me as a child, basically uh-huh. for child labor. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. Like I I've mean, def- that's what they do with kids. They're like, oh, you're eight? You want to help me weed the garden? You're like, yeah, dude, weed the garden. <laughs> I don't mean older than that. Like I don't know how old you are when you had to like rake that lady's uh, we were back. Like eight or ten or something. Oh yeah, so five dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like we and you ain't gonna argue. We probably that. didn't do a good job. Yeah, you ain't gonna argue that anyway. No, <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna haggle with an old lady anyway. I remember when I was probably about like twelve or thirteen. I had me and my friend. We used to play frisbee <laughs> in like the back parking lot, and I remember some guy needed help moving. And uh, we helped him move, and he gave us like he gave us like fifteen bucks a piece. It wasn't worth it because he had a lot of heavy stuff. But I was like, essentially, you're just like you're employing children. Like this is, I'm pretty sure this is against like America's t- terms of service or something. Like you said that to him? No. Oh, no but I was I'm like, wow, you're a very smart it. child, dude. This is against America's terms of service, sir. <laughs> so, I'm reporting you to the child labor law place. <laughs> but on that occasion, like you know. It was it was just like a, a nice even transaction. The amount of money was just enough where it was like it was worth the work, I guess. I've also had people overpay me for uh, shuffling their snow and so stuff. Here's fifty dollars. You're like, thank you, man. Yeah, I remember one time we were like, because I think I think we got kind of okey doked like you. We told one guy that we would shovel his driveway for like ten dollars, and we meant ten dollars a piece. And then he gave us $10 total. total. Right, right. Old guy, too. I think it's old people that do that They don't understand the value of work. No, they just don't care. They just like, whatever. You got you got youth. That's enough. That's payment enough for you. You got okie You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. That taught me a lesson, if anything. Yeah, you know what else you got paid in? Lessons, B. Yeah. <laughs> College ain't free, Jodas. College ain't free. Ain't. Preach it. So then I like I had like another lady. We were like, oh, it's going to be twenty bucks, and she gave us twenty dollars a piece. And I was like, what? And then we went and bought action figures. It's like it's been God. I hate this game sometimes. It's like you learn your lesson, and then someone like then you tell somebody that, and then they're like, <laughs> they were Dude, how much snow would you have to shovel for it to be worth forty dollars to somebody? I don't know, but. A lot, right? A lot, and you're like, lady, you had a ten foot, ten foot driveway, anyway. But on the same note, like you know, if you see some kids out here struggling, they're shoveling your snow, and they're right. actually and trying to do money, a good job. Like, why, yeah. why not hook a kid up? Yeah, like what is he? It's not like the kid's gonna go and buy booze, you know? right? Yeah, exactly. He's gonna go buy candy, hook the kids up. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah. If you're giving it to like a you know someone on the street and they're an adult, you don't know what they're gonna spend the money on. Like yeah. a, like a child, yeah, dude. <laughs> he ain't gonna go buy crack with it. <laughs> you ain't supporting a crack habit to uh, uh, help him shovel your driveway. I wonder how people would feel if I just like solicited some of the kids in the complex to come and like clean, rub your back. No, Jesus! <laughs> what the hell? Just wanted. To- Take, what the fuck? Take, take an ugly turn. The hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> that has never crossed say. my mind. I know. I'm just being an a-hole. Uh, anyways. To, so like, wash my car or something. Because, like, that's acceptable. That's something acceptable for, for a kid to do. Yeah. And oh, yeah, because it's, it's like, and I think a lot of people do that sort of stuff for kids because it's like a kid will want to make money because it's like, and you respect a kid who wants to earn his money, and you're like, I don't have anything for you to do. You can wash my car. Like, because they can't mess it up very bad. You know, there's not much they can, it's like, and then they feel like they're earning money. Now you got me feeling weird, man. I'm like, I don't know if I should just, like, start walking up to, like, random kids like, hey, kid, you want to wash my car? That's- that could be. Make sure you innuendo. Oh, I trucked his face, dude. No, there's no innuendo involved. I'm trying to get my car washed, Jonas. All right. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, 
These, you need you you are going into a place where this video is just going to be a mar on our channel for the rest of our lives. You're the ones talking about hiring children. To watch my car. Child labor, dude. Oh my god, right, we're right. talking about child hustles here. All right. I'm just being asshole. But yeah, dude. No, I mean it would be. I think it would be weird if you went to a kid in the palm bus and be like, "Hey, dude, you want to wash my car? We don't even have hoses here. We don't have a hose hook up in the back." I think there's one outside somewhere. Like on the front of the building, maybe. I figured they'd have one for every unit. They do not, which they should. But I they mean, do not. that's fine, Jones. We'll I mean, it's not like I need a hose very often, but. I mean, true. Yeah, I don't know. I was just, I was just wondering if you had any other childhood hustles. You seem like the childhood hustle guy. I know. I, I seem see like a lot of things. I guess. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, dude. I, you know what? I mean, you can relate. You put off a, you, you like to put off a certain like, uh, you expect this from me and then shatter the expectations. <laughs> you look like a Kevin, not a Kevin, bro. No, well, no. You do look like the. Okay, last episode I said you look like the paycheck dispute guy. You do yeah. seem like the guy that would paycheck dispute. You told me I look like the guy who would have a hustle for, as a kid too. Yeah, so. because you see, because you Hard have an entrepreneur. You have an entrepreneurial type of insight. You wanted a business at some point in your life. I could see you being like, I'm going to orchestrate like a bunch of kids to go around and mow lawns. I, like in the in the cartoon in my head, like the you're that kid. guy. I'd be the guy just like set. I wouldn't go mow. I would just find. I would like hire them all and like take a cut. Yeah, and no. no yeah. <laughs> Cartman, basically. Yeah. No, I would like. Uh, yeah. I, would, I could I, see that. Yeah. I could see you hiring a bunch of migrant workers. Oh wow. To be, <laughs> and being whoa, whoa, whoa. and then shorting them on their paychecks. Whoa. What? I would be a slumlord. I'm not hiring a bunch of migrant workers. I have literally had a conversation with you about buying a bunch of houses and, and having to be section eight. And this is far off from a, a childhood hustle. We really hustle. should do that. Cleveland has so many. We don't even have to touch them. We just we buy them and let someone else handle it all. You want to do it in Cleveland, man? Ew. You can get like you can get four houses in Cleveland for you get one four one house here. Oh, that's that's definitely true. <laughs> right? You could probably buy four houses and have money to fix them up with the amount you would get for one. Uh, that's true. <laughs> like I don't want to deal with it, but that's why you hire a management company to deal with that. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we can we can look into it. Now we're getting into adult adult hustles, though. Yeah, dude, that's a real hustle, a real live hustle. Oh my god, real you the live swarming. hustle. Look like a tiger. Did you ever sell candy bars for like a school fundraiser? Um, I did a little bit. I hated all that stuff, dude. I hated it all. I hate all of that so much. Wow. I did those <laughs> stupid fundraisers where they're like, sell the wrapping paper and the chocolate covered pretzels, uh, and you get a. a a fake basketball hoop that's worth eight cents, and the company made ten million dollars off your family and friends. Child labor. Did you? Did your mom just end up taking them to work with her and stuff? Because uh, that's yeah. usually how yeah, it happens. I think so. Yeah. Like, I mean, I like I would always. Sometimes, like my family would buy a couple things, but like yeah. just enough to get me a prize. No, I never got the big prize. Like, and like, it's oh. all, and it's always like the crappiest stuff too. You get the gummy worm tumbler. And it's always like, it's like a, eight gummy worms in a plastic container. It's for always a bag, and then the tumbler, and then it's like, come on. What it costs like twelve bucks, dude. Exactly. Um, what I did like selling or buying from people who sell is when they would do that like pre-made cookie dough in the big containers. Oh, that, okay. That's good. I, I like when people come around with that. Like I'm like, oh hell yeah, give me some pre-made chocolate chip cookie dough or pre-made sugar cookie dough. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it's a little expensive. It's like fifteen bucks, but it's usually pretty good cookies. Yeah, all right. It's like it's never like. A the greatest though no i don't even i wouldn't even say that it's like toll house it's literally cheap because yeah. they want they're trying to make money so it's like or like the freaking zap snacks that are just like the freaking pepperoni they cut up in the quarters on like zap a snacks? <laughs> what the fuck it's like the pe it's like the french bread pizzas but it's just like on a stale piece of french bread and they sprinkled some sauce and cheese on there oh, and then it has God. the pepperonis that's like little Dude, triangle so pie pieces gross, <laughs> I remember, like, somebody, somebody's kid that I know was doing it, 
and uh, and I was like, and it was somebody in Ohio, and I lived in Texas, and I was just like, I was like, hey, here's, I venmo him like 10 bucks or whatever. I'm like, hey, get me like however many I can get for 10 bucks just to help your kid out or whatever. And then they, when I went to Ohio, they were like, hey, we got those pizzas that you ordered. And I was like, let me see them real quick. And I'm like, y'all can keep these. <laughs> I was like, I don't need, I'm like, I'm good. I'm like, one, I can't take them back. I ain't eating five of them while I'm here, and they don't even look like they're were, worth Were they dollars. real pizzas or were they like the little French bread ones that come in little plastic sleeves? Yeah, they, I think they were like the little, the little half. Yeah, dude, it, like, it was gross. I was like, why are you selling this? I would much, dude, okay, hot take. I would much rather the kid comes to you and go, hey, can I have $10 for my school? Then let me buy some overpriced ish. Yeah, something that I don't need. Like if I turn in a hundred bucks, I get a free basketball hoop for my bedroom. No, oh, here you cool, go. Cool, here's ten bucks. Here's kid. Ten get bucks. ten other people to give you ten bucks. Here's a free basketball hoop. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't want the stupid like wrapping paper that's nineteen ninety five, dude. Like nobody does. Nobody wants wrapping paper. Dude, it's always the dumbest stuff. Too. Wrapping paper, like scented pens, like those catalogs are the worst. Now. Like, it, it's funny because it, like, it started out with the candy bars. And the candy bars is a legit hustle. Oh, a yeah, dollar a dollar for a candy bar. That's cheap. That's a good, well, it, back then it was Because that candy's usually pretty good, too. Back then, that, that wasn't like. Oh, I think they're two bucks now. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. Back then, they were a dollar. But even back then, like, as, as far as inflation, like, I think candy bar was like 89 cents. Right, right. So it was a little bit more, but it was still like. It was like good quality chocolate. It was a decent quality chocolate. <laughs> But I'm a Reese Cups guy, so if it ain't a Reese Cup, it ain't it ain't life. Right. But, I feel it. Oh, did you see him? Uh, yeah. This kind of goes into my thing about uh, child labor and that. So, like, Girl Scout cookies. Do you realize that the Girl Scouts have made over seven hundred and fifty million dollars? Yeah. I think they make that every year. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And in they don't Girl get Scout they cookies. Get none of it. And then the Girl Scouts get none of it. It's yeah. all child labor. Do yeah, they get like yeah, they get like a million dollars or something for the foundation. They get a cookie patch <laughs> that they can sew onto their hat or something. Child labor patch. <laughs> Welcome to America. Cap oh, dude, there's a ladder. He's carrying the ladder again. <laughs> The capitalism patch. Oh, dude. All right, well, we won, dude. We're going to the NFC Championship game. Yeah, right, we did it. Yeah, dude. That's Brown all boys. Today's episode about child labor. Please make sure to like, <laughs> subscribe. If you've already done that, you can uh, go follow this dude on Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch.tv. Heck yeah, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are. Uh, oh,